Hey friends, it's Sonia from Junk Monkey. Thanks for joining me here on my Tuesday vlog. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a fireside chat today and I had to get my, my bullet coffee, right? So yes, I do have coconut um, oil and butter and heavy whipping cream and just a little bit of Splenda to sweeten it. Thank you, Kate, for this lovely girl boss mug that she gave me, has my favorite color teal, a little bit of white, I love it. And so today I wanted to come on and have a chat with you guys. Of course, my vlog is where I get a little more personal and I get to share with you guys some behind the scenes up here of myself personally, my family, have the junk monkey, then you don't always get to see on our main pages, right? And so I'm happy that you guys are here. I love to take your questions. And um, a question I get a lot is, Sonia, you know, how do you um, just stay, stay so positive and how do you just, you, know, you always seem to have energy and um, just lots of, you know, just lots of good vibes. And so I wanted to tell you guys that, um, you know, I definitely am a girl whose glass is half full. I'm a grateful person. I am so thankful that we are here and that we get to do anything we want to do, right? You realize that anything you want to do today, you can do it. And I just think that's amazing when you realize just what a miracle it is to even be here. I just think that is so great. But I also think that happiness is an inside job. So you have to like, you know, be happy yourself internally before you can externally um, be happy and um, project it onto other people as well, right? So for me, personally, uh, surrounding myself with things that I love is a big stimulant, a big thing that keeps me going. So every day when I come to work here. And yes, when you are a entrepreneur, you don't um, you don't get days off like you typically would. So you kind of like give and take. Um, you know, there's always pluses and negatives to anything. And but let me just tell you, we work every single day here at the Junk Monkey and uh, there's always something to be done. But one thing I love is that when I get to come to work in the morning, I'm surrounded by things that make me happy, right? And so in this vlog, I wanted to share with you guys five simple things that just makes me happy. And I want you to start thinking about it as well, because I do believe that your space, that you um, come home from work every single day and you walk into your house and, you know, ask yourself, you know, do I like that color on the wall? Do I want to do something different? Do I want to move it around? Do I want to paint do I want to paint that little stand that I put my keys and my mail on every single day? Do I want to paint a, diff a different color, right? Uh, so I definitely think that your surroundings play a big part into that. And so me coming to work, which doesn't feel like work, it, I, it feels like fun to me, right? So I've listed out five things that I love to, um, that I have here at my place of work, which is my maker studio here, that just makes me happy, right? It just makes me happy. And um, the first thing, you might think it's a little silly, but it's the truth. I love to have my things organized into cute little things. Like I do, like you see my organizational bins back there. They couldn't be just black or white. Seriously, I even thought about spray painting or junk monkeying um, these, um, what you call it, just plastic, plastic holder storage units um, because I, I believe that, yeah, you know what, let's just make your space beautiful and pretty. And so when I come in, I definitely, and I dream in color. So I love uh, little accessories like this, little mugs and things and storage containers to be able to hold my things in, right? This is Mr. Owl right here saying hello to you guys today. So like little things like this, like I got this for 99 cents at um, Hobby Lobby and it's like a Winnie the Pooh honey pot, right? And so I love it. You know, this is just a soup can that I put some fabric on it and I've got guys so many of these little containers. Here's a terracotta pot that I painted and then put a little transfer on top of painted the inside rim right there. And like I say, it's perfect for just kind of like laying things in. This makes me happy, right? This is my work area and um, being able to have that on my desk and just coming in every day, it makes me want to, it makes me want to interact. It makes me want to do art. It makes me happy and it makes me want to grab from, I mean, seriously, again, you can tell I'm an owl person, but you know, this is a, uh, a planter. So I love flower pots. So I definitely would say the first thing would be like, like surrounding myself with little things like this, repurposing mugs as an example, and containers to just make me happy and make me want to sit at my desk, and um, you know, just makes me makes me smile from ear to ear. All right, number two, I would definitely say that music makes me happy when I come into my space, and so um, I have over here. Let me show you. Let me see if I can reach it and grab for it. By the way, it's right next to my, my little green owl mug with all my uh, popsicle sticks, aka paint stirrers into it. Another example of like all the things that you can put into little mugs. But this is just my little uh, Bluetooth speaker. I've had this now for a few years. It's dusty. It's got paint drips on it because you know what? It's It's been hanging out with me for a while. And um, I love to put on my music 
and I just uh, link up my Pandora to my stereo and um, I love like trust me I'm a Lady Gaga kind of lover you know I love pink those are probably my favorite two um, singers you know artists that I love to listen to but um, when I'm in the studio I tend to go towards like Jack Johnson and he's probably my top pick. Like if I put on the Jack Johnson Pandora station, it just pulls in the most mellow, awesome, just feel good kind of music, right? When you want to create, you you know, you don't want to throw like paint at the wall and you don't want to get all crazy. Um, you know, I think painting is very thoughtful. You get, you know, you go deep inside yourself when you're painting, when you're in the moment and you're expressing yourself. And um, so putting on a little bit of music. Do you want to show, want me to show you what I was working on this morning? Let me see if I can, let me just grab it for you real quick. So yeah, here is my journal, and this is a project that I did today. If you go over my Facebook page, you'll find it. Um, they're uploaded on our Facebook wall. And so, again, something that makes me happy, something that helps organize my thoughts. And um, so yeah, but just kind of make it yours and put some color onto it, right? So I absolutely love this. So this morning when I was creating this, I have my Jack Johnson music on and um, <clears throat> just really got into it, right? So. I love it. So another example of how you can junk monkey something up. And this was like a really cool, um, just a canvas and fabric -y kind of feel cover onto that. So that is definitely my number two, music. All right, let me find number three because I, I did even write them down in my journal. All right, so definitely number three is stencils. I love some stencils, I do. So I always surround myself with stencils I'm using the example of the journal, whether it's furniture, whether it's decor, whether it's something like that you can personalize. When I'm creating, I love to put stencils on things. So I definitely couldn't live without these, right? I, they're always nearby. You guys know that I love to do that. And in fact, sometimes I will have people come on my Facebook page and say, do you always have to put a stencil on it? I'm like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I kind of do because I encourage you to be you and um, to do what makes you happy, right? And you might not believe it, but there are other people that will love it just like you do as well. So never be afraid to, um, to just be you and just to shine and, you know, to not feel like you have to filter yourself, right? Right? So I love stencils. I collect them and being a girl on a budget, this is the style I love to use, use them over and over again. I don't pay a ton of money for my stencils and I love the fact that I can use them over and over again, right? And so I definitely think that, you know, as we talk about personalities and just kind of letting you shine through that, for me, when I add a stencil on a piece of uh, furniture that has just been kind of like what I say, used and abused and worn and left and has been the outcast and now I'm working some magic on it, some paint magic onto it, Giving it uh, some stencil just to me like gives it a whole new personality, like a whole new lease on life. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, I guarantee you somebody will love your ideas, your creative ideas. But I think that I, I love, I love, I def, I, <laughs> I use the hashtag of myself sometimes on Instagram, happy painter. And I love to create happy furniture, happy furniture. Because again, it is your four corners of the world. So when you come home, it should be a happy place for you to be able to put your head down, put your feet up, and um, you know we work so hard to be have to be able to create a life um, after work, right? And so don't forget to like do those things for yourself. The fourth thing that I surround myself with uh, when I'm here at work and I'm in my studio is definitely positive sayings. Like you'll find that like I'm looking ahead of me right now and there is a unicorn painting that says sparkle and shine. Do you know what I mean? Up above it it says just be brave. There's one over here to my side that also says brave on it and um, I am I think that sometimes we need reminders that we can have bad days but um, having things like this around you and what you fuel your mind with can also empower you and uh, think to yourself you know the thoughts that you have where are they coming from and so it's always nice to have those things around you you guys know that in my art which is behind me let me do a quick pan up um, on my wall here, you'll see that I have lots of sayings on my art as well. Sayings such as chin up buttercup, fix your crown, and she let go and she lived. You got this chicky. Um, let love bloom, mermaid vibes, make waves, storms don't last forever, be you, all you need is love. You guys get the point, right? And so yeah, so tons and tons of just good sayings and you find that I, um, I like to include in my artwork. I like to put it on my furniture and I like to surround myself with it, with it. And so I don't think I could positively design a room that would not have a positive saying into it. I just think that 
you need it there, right? You need it there. And we all have different sayings that um, just speak to us. And so when you're creating your space around you, pick a saying that just, you know, you're like, oh yeah, like I get that, right? Like I feel that in here. All right, the last thing I'm gonna say that I definitely um, have to, to keep around me is kind of on the heels of my artwork is that color. So for me, I gotta have color. So I'm looking across the room right now and I have a metal uh, cabinet that's filled with my supplies and I painted it um, with a purple color, okay? I have a yellow stand that I did over here with, with yellow, red, and blue that's right next to it. Yes, next to purple, but yellow and purple go together so nice. And um, there is a colorful brick wall. There's a colorful rug. Um, you know, you know, you see my artwork behind me. I have a teal rug over here in the corner. You see my teal things right here. So for me, I love to surround myself with color at any given time. And that's why, you know, I have so much fun when I'm putting together paint colors for you guys because, um, you know, while I love farmhouse and neutrals and all that good stuff. I'm definitely somebody that loves vivid colors, right? Color makes me happy. Like it just, it does. And I just think that color is, you know, when you're designing, it's an outward expression of you. And so you should, again, pick the colors that you love. So I definitely couldn't um, deal without color in my life. And so when I'm, when I kind of like, when I think about my style, I think about definitely a collected, shabby, boho style. And even my studio in here has um, just so many colors, but it all works because it's completely colorful, colorful, and it just makes me happy when I come in every single day. So those are my five things that I could not positively not surround myself with every day when I come into work. Again, mugs, just cute organizers for all my art supplies, my paints, my brushes that make me happy to just pick a brush out and um, go bananas. Number two was music, listening to some music that just gets me going. And some days I even put on like spa music and um, just some, you know, throwback to old, just kind of mellow music. I love it. I love it. Number three was stencils, putting some personality on the work that I do. I always love to do that. Positive sayings, keeping it positive and surrounding myself with artwork and colors that just make me happy, right? So I hope that you have a space to be able to create in. And even if it's not a giant, giant space, I remember when I started and I would create at my kitchen table or in one section of my garage and it just continued to grow and grow from there because I kept creating and keep, keep people kept finding out about what I did, which as a result, I continued to have more and more customers. And then I was able to continue to just kind of grow and um, make some great investments into like, you know, a space and also having, be able to bring like the rest of this storage units and just, it just kept building around me. So I hope you're building your creative empire out there today somewhere or else at least finding this inspiring. Thank you so much for being on the Junk Monkey journey with me. Um, remember here, I vlog Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays right here on YouTube just for you guys. I love your questions. If you have any questions for me, like whether it's, um, you know, business, life, paint, I would love for to read them. In fact, maybe my next blog, vlog tomorrow um, I'll be able to take some of those questions for you so um, yeah leave me leave me a question below what's that burning question that you've always wanted to ask me um, because I would love to uh, hear from you guys thank you so much thank you for subscribing hit the bell if you want notifications anytime we upload something like these vlogs to YouTube and uh, give me a big old thumbs up that is awesome that would be the bees knees all right I'll see you guys again tomorrow bye